Okay guys, like we said, Michelle's got an unboxing. Oh you managed it. I was I was I was wanting to watch you struggle then because I can never open them either. Days, Miss Peregrine's. Your fingers are over it. What's it say at the bottom? Ransom Riggs, Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children. A math days. This is a new one, and it's in hardback. Has it got pictures in it so I can read it? I can read it. Oh my god, it's so thick as well. It's much thicker than the other ones. But you do know that this means now that I have to get all the other ones in hardback. It's not too late to send it back. So excited. Apparently there's going to be another two as well. So there's at least two more. Are they going to make another film of it? Or not? Do you I don't know. know. There's going to be a sequel to it. Then I can enjoy the story as well. I don't know. So what's it about? Well... Spoiler alert, FYI, just saying that now. So when we left the Peculiars at the end of Library of Souls, I want to say. I think that's right. Was that the film? No, no, I'm going beyond the film here. Let me just double check. Because usually inside the book it says... Nope, it doesn't say it. And I don't want to read page one, because if I read page one, I'm going to have to read all the others. As well, usually they give you a list of the other books in the series, so I'm going to have to check. Anyway, so at the end of the last book, which I believe, if I remember rightly, is called Library of Souls, um, but I am just going to check that, we find the Peculiars in America. And... Map of Days, yeah, Library of Souls, I was right, perfect. Um, Map of Days carries on where the third book left off and follows the Peculiars as they come to terms with being in current time in America. So I am very, very excited because I thought Library of Souls was the last and there wasn't going to be any more. And a lot of people who are really into the Miss Peregrine fandom all thought the same. We thought it was a trilogy, we thought it was standalone, we thought that was it. And now there's going to be another six books, another three books, sorry, putting the total to six in the series. So we're all very, very excited. So this, I've had this on pre-order since I knew it was coming out. And it was supposed to be here yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. But something went horribly wrong with the courier and it didn't arrive yesterday. Highlands and Islands. So it arrived today. So very, very excited because I loved the first three. So you've got Miss Craigan's Hope for Peculiar Children, which is the book that the film is based on. And then you've got Hollow City, which is the second book in the series and picks up where the film leaves off, obviously. And then Library of Souls um, is the third book in the series. And their Map of Days. So excited. So, so when are you very, going to read excited. that? Soon. Very, very soon. But I'm working on Caraval by Stephanie Garber at the moment. And it's really, really good. Um, really enjoying it. I'm only about 80-ish pages in. And I've got Legendary, which is the sequel to Caraval, um, to read straight after that. But while we were away on holiday, I read E.S. Thompson's Beloved Poison series as far as it's been released. I'd read Beloved Poison last year and absolutely loved it. 
um, the books are set around a um, main protagonist character called Jem Flockhart, who is a apothecary in Victorian London in the era before most of modern medicine, where they're still doing um, bloodletting. Bloodletting, yes, they're still doing operations. Leeches. Yeah, still doing operations that anaesthesia still doing um, amputations in theatres for students and they don't know what germs are yet, that sort of thing. That's the area we're, we're sort of set in. So you've got Jen Flockhart, who is the main protagonist character, uh, who is a woman who is pretending to be a man in a Victorian world and successfully hiding the fact that she is in fact female. And it also follows um, and it's like a murder mystery and Jem ends up um, solving the crimes along with her sidekick who we met in Beloved Poison whose name Will, whose name is Will, um, Quartermain, Will Quartermain and he is an architect. So Beloved Poison is the first book in the series um, and I loved it. So then I got Dark Asylum which is the second book in the series, which is also very, very good. And The Blood, which I picked up on Waterstones, but I noticed it was out. So I've got Blood and Poison in hardback, because I cannot, I lent my paperback copy to someone and I can't figure, remember who. And I wanted to read all three, thinking it was a trilogy, but it's not a trilogy. There's actually a fourth book that's due to come out next year, which I have on pre-order now. Um, and hopefully, a few more because I actually really like the dynamic between Jem and Will who Will knows that Jem is a woman pretending to be a man and I think he kind of loves her but she's very well she's a lesbian um, but which is very friend of one in Victoria in London um, but they have this very sort of real sort of friendship camaraderie dynamic thing going on they actually play really well off of one another i absolutely adore the books um and i would highly recommend if you're into to crime and victoria historical crime it's not based on true story or anything like that it's just sort of like a historical crime series but it's really really good i highly highly recommend it definitely give it a go and if you haven't read miss peregrine's home for peculiar children then A, I apologise for the spoilers, and B, where have you been? <laughs> because they're awesome. Read them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's Michelle's unboxing.